Hi, my name is Ms. Heather and I work with Nevada Child Seekers. Today I'm going to be presenting to you Be Safer with Kids Smarts, Personal Safety for Grades K through 12. Today we're going to be talking about how to be safer using the four rules of personal safety. Here to help me are my friends from Kids Smarts, Sam, Jen, Marco, and his mom, Ms. Diaz. We'll be watching some videos of them later. Sam, Jen, Marco, and Ms. Diaz are going to show you how to keep others from hurting you. Why is personal safety important? Personal safety is important to learn about because you have the right to be safe. No one should ever try to hurt you or take you away. You have the right to protect yourself because it's your body. Everybody take a look at yourself. Look down at your arms, your legs, your belly. This is your body, so we're going to learn how to protect it. You can protect yourself by using the four rules of personal safety. We follow all kinds of rules, right? There are rules about fire safety, stop, drop, and roll, and there's a rule about crossing the street, look both ways. Those rules are meant to keep you safe, just like these personal safety rules. I will always check with my parent, guardian, or other trusted adult before going anywhere, helping anyone, accepting anything, or getting into a car. I will take a friend with me when I go places or playing outside. I will tell people no if they try to touch me or hurt me. It's okay to stand up for myself. And last but not least, I will tell my trusted adult if anything makes me feel sad, scared, or confused. Today we're going to learn about each of these rules and practice them too. Let's take a closer look at the first rule. Check first with your parent, guardian, or other trusted adult before going anywhere, helping anyone, accepting anything, or getting into a car. Your parents, guardians, teachers, and other adults all have a very important job to keep you safe. They can't do that job if they don't know where you are. They'll be worried about you if they can't find you. That's why it's so important to check first before going anywhere, even if it's with somebody you know. You need to check first with the adult in charge. Another reason why it's important to check first is because some people aren't very nice and will try to trick you into going with them. Let's learn about some of the tricks they use so you know how to spot them. The first trick we're going to talk about is the offer trick. That's when a person offers you something you might want, like candy, food, toys, money, or a fun trip. Even though you might really want these things, you shouldn't take anything without checking with your parent, guardian, or the adult in charge. They could be tricking you into coming with them, so check first. The second trick is the animal trick. Who likes to pet cute puppies and kittens? I think just about everybody. It's fun to meet new animals, but sometimes tricky people will try to get you to go with them by showing you a cute animal and it's important to check first to see if it's okay. The third trick is the emergency trick. This is when someone tells you that there's an emergency, like a car accident or a fire, and they need you to take you to your parent or guardian. For example, if your uncle surprises you at school and tells you that your parents have been in a car accident and he needs to take you to the hospital, what should you do? Even though he's your uncle, and even though you're really worried about mom and dad, you shouldn't go away with him. You need to check first with the adult in charge. If you're in school, that's your teacher. There may be school rules about who can pick you up and who can't. So your teacher will have to make sure it's okay for you to go with them. You can say, I can't go with you until I check with my teacher. The fourth trick is the help trick. This is when someone asks you to help them. They may ask you to give them directions, help look for a lost pet, or carry groceries to their car. It's nice to help people, but adults shouldn't ask kids they don't know for help. They should only ask other adults. So if anyone asks you for help, you need to check first to see if it's okay. The fifth trick is the friend trick. This is when someone says they're a friend of your parents or guardian, and they were asked to pick you up. Just because they say they know your mom and dad doesn't mean they really do. And even if they do know your parents or guardian, that doesn't mean you should leave with them. You should always check first with an adult in charge to see if it's true. The adult in charge needs to know that you're leaving. Remember, adults will be scared and worried if they don't know how to find you, so be sure to follow the check first rule. The sixth trick is the bad child trick. This is when someone says you did something wrong and you have to go with them. They may have a fake badge or be dressed in a uniform. They may also say your parents are really mad at you or they don't want you anymore. This is a trick. 
Even if you're scared and think you're in trouble, you need to check first with an adult in charge before going anywhere. A real police officer will never tell you you've been bad and take you away without checking with an adult first. The seventh trick is the flattery or model trick. This is when someone asks you to go with them to take pictures. They'll tell you that you're pretty or handsome, and they might tell you that you'll be rich and famous. Don't fall for this trick. It might sound nice to be really rich and famous, but a real photographer will talk to your parents and guardian about talking, taking your pictures, not you. The last trick we're going to talk about is the open door trick. This is when someone asks you to open the door to your house when your parents or guardians aren't home. The person may look like a delivery person or be wearing a uniform. You shouldn't ever open the door for anyone when you're home alone. If they're really trying to deliver something, they'll come back. So if this ever happens to you, call your parent or guardian and let them know someone came to the door. Check first with them to see what you should do. Now our friends from KidSmarts are going to show us an example of these tricks. Watch closely to see if you can spot the tricks. KidSmarts. Watch out, guys. Hey. Hey, come on, man. Oh, sorry. What are you guys doing? Oh, nothing. Just drawing. Excuse me, kids. I'm kind of lost. Can one of you come over here and help me? I'll even give you five dollars. Yes. Please. It's almost time for lunch, kid. But, Mom, that man needs direction. Hey, where's my five bucks? Who is that? We don't know. He was lost and asked for our help. I hope you weren't thinking about going over there. But isn't it nice to help people? Adults shouldn't ask children that they don't know for help. If they do, you should check first. Check first? That's right. If an adult that you don't know asks you to do something or go somewhere, you should check first with the adult in charge. Check first. That's easy to remember. So what would you do if an adult you didn't know asked you to help find a lost puppy? Check first. And what would you do if an adult you didn't know offered you $5 to keep a secret? Check, Check first. Or if an adult you didn't know offered you a ride to school. Check first. Check first. Check first. Check first. That's right. Good job. Now let's all go inside and check on lunch. Yes. What tricks did the man in the car use? The man used the help trick because he asked for directions. And then he used the offer trick because he offered them money for their help. The adult in the car shouldn't have asked the kids for help. If someone in the car asks you for help, you should never get close to the car. Tell them no, and then go find an adult in charge. Now let's test how much you know about the common tricks. Question one, you're home playing in your front yard. Your mom is in the kitchen making dinner, and your neighbor asks if you wanna come over for some treats. What should you do? You should check first with your mom. Even though you know your neighbor, he's not the adult in charge, is he? You need to check first with your mom to see if it's okay. Question two. You're playing at the park with some friends when a woman asks you to help her find her lost dog. What should you do? Tell them you can't help unless you check first. Walk away and go find the adult in charge. Question three, you're at the store with your dad when someone with a badge tells you that you're in trouble for knocking over some shelves. He says you need to come with him right away. What should you do? Check first with your dad. He's in charge of you, so he needs to know where you are. A real store worker wouldn't just take you away from him. You did a great job with the first rule. Check first. Now let's talk about the second rule. Take a friend with you going places, or playing outside. Why is it important to take a friend? Taking a friend is important because there is strength in numbers, and I'm going to show you what that means. If you have two people together, you are a lot more powerful. We're stronger together, just like friends are stronger together. Let's watch a Kid Smart's friends tell us why it's important to take a friend. Kids Smarts.
We need to get the keys of the city back from the overlords. Got it. Now we gotta make it back to headquarters. You guys said we go to the park an hour ago. Come on. Uh, the park. Remember? Hello? Yeah, yeah, the park. We'll go in a sec. Fine. I'll just go by myself. Hey, you can't go by yourself. Yeah, you should always take a friend. Take a friend? Why? It's just like in Heroes Alliance. Jenna and I always go on missions together. Yeah, what if I was facing an army of robots? I couldn't stop it by myself. Yeah, two people are stronger than one. You can always use backup. And if I'm by myself, there would be no one there to help me if I was in trouble. I always feel safer when I have a friend by my side. You're right. Taking a friend does sound safer. Okay, guys. So let's promise to always take a friend whenever we go places or play outside. Promise! So now can we go? Just let me check first with my mom. Mom! Don't even think about it. Oh, come on. Just one more game. Please. Let's go, Marco. Take your time, Marco. As you saw in the video, Marco and Jen worked together in the game because taking a friend made it more fun and safe. Marco helped Jen defeat the army of robots because they were stronger together, and Jen helped Marco when he was stuck. She was there to help him, and he feels safer with her by his side. How about you? Where are places you go that you should take a friend? How about the park, the bus stop, or the library? It's important to know that some tricky people try to trick kids while they're going to or from school. That's why it's very important to go to and from school with a friend or a trusted adult. Tricky people are less likely to bother you, and if they do, you'll have a friend there to help. Another important thing to remember is that you should always stay with the group. Don't wander off on your own to check something out or walk away from the group if someone is making you mad. Remember how the how it's so much how it's so much harder to trick somebody if you're together that's because there's strength in numbers it may be dangerous to walk off on your own stay with the group you should also remember to stay on the main roads don't take shortcuts through alleys or fields you're safer with friends and you're safer where more people can see you now let's see how much you know about the second rule of personal safety strength in numbers means two is stronger than one True or false? True. You should always take a friend because there's strength in numbers. You're stronger and safer with a friend. It's okay to walk away from the group if you see something really interesting. True or false? False. You should always stay with the group. Question three. Sometimes tricky people look for kids walking to or from school alone. True or false? True. Whenever possible, Go to or from school with friends or a trusted adult. Great job! You're doing an excellent job listening to these important safety rules. Let's move on to the third rule. Tell people no if they try to touch you or hurt you. This rule is very important because you have the right to feel safe. Remember we talked about how you have the right to protect your body? That means it's okay for you to stand up for yourself. No one, not even an adult, has the right to make you feel unsafe. Saying no does not mean you're being bad or disrespectful. You're being responsible for yourself and your safety. It's okay to say no when somebody is hurting you or making you uncomfortable, even if it's someone you know, like your mom, dad, uncle, teacher, or coach. And it's okay to say no when someone wants you to go with them, but you have checked first with your parent, guardian, or an adult in charge. Let's watch a Kid Smarts, friends. Jen and Sam explain to Marco why it's okay for him to say no to someone who makes him feel uncomfortable. Kid smarts. Marco, have you finished to your mom's car yet? We'll be here soon. Almost done, Mom. What's wrong? Here, Mom. 
He's my favorite uncle. But he treats me like a baby. What do you mean? Like he's always giving me these giant bear hugs. They were okay when I was little, but I don't like them now. Did you tell your uncle to stop? No. Should I? Yes, you should always tell people no if they're doing something that makes you uncomfortable. Even adults? Anyone. Anyone. You know my baseball coach? I told him it made me uncomfortable when he patted me on the back. We talked about it, and now he gives me high fives instead. And I told the crossing guard I didn't like it when she flicked my ponytail, so she stopped. I guess I could say something, but what if I hurt my uncle's feelings? What about your feelings? It makes you uncomfortable. And it's your body. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna tell Tio no. Like right now. Awesome. Sam, let's tell Miss Diaz we're leaving. See you, Marco. Adios. Hola, Marco. How about a hug for my favorite nephew? Hey, what's wrong? Tio, I have to tell you something. Of course, Marco. You can tell me anything. I don't want bear hugs anymore. I think it's for little kids and it makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Of course it is not. I beg you for telling me. You shouldn't do anything that makes you uncomfortable. I was thinking, can we have a cool special handshake instead? That sounds like a great idea. But if you don't like it, or if anyone does anything that makes you uncomfortable, you know you I'll tell them no. Exactly. Okay, here's a special handshake. High five. <laughs> Why was it okay for Marco to say no to his uncle? Because his bear hugs made Marco uncomfortable. It doesn't matter if his uncle was just trying to be nice and didn't mean to make Marco uncomfortable. If you're uncomfortable with how someone touches you, even if they're an adult, you have the right to say no. It's your body, so you get to decide who touches it, how they touch it, and when they touch it. Marco decided he didn't like the bear hugs. He did the right thing by telling his uncle no and suggested a special handshake, a kind of touch that he was comfortable with. Sometimes when you have to tell someone no, you have to talk nice, like Marco did with his uncle. Sometimes you have to be firm though, like when somebody is trying to take you somewhere without your parent or guardian's permission, or when they're hurting you. If you're in a situation where you have to be firm, you can say, no, stop it, leave me alone, I don't like that, or you're not my mom and dad. You should be loud, be serious, and be confident. Don't worry about being rude. If someone is hurting you or trying to take you away, it's okay to be rude. It's okay for you to stand up for yourself. Let's practice saying no. Sometimes just saying no doesn't work. Someone may keep hurting you or try to take you away. If this happens, it's okay to hit, punch, kick, scream, and run to get away. You are not doing anything wrong if you have to fight someone to get away. Remember what the Kid Smarts rule says. You have the right to stand up for yourself. So if someone tries to kick you into going, trick you into going somewhere, if someone tries to grab you, or if somebody is hurting you, you should do everything you can to get away. Run away and tell a trusted adult. And if that adult doesn't listen, tell someone else and keep telling until the behavior stops. Let's talk about some scenarios and I want you to tell me if it's okay. Your coach likes to pat you on the back when you make a good play, but it makes you uncomfortable. Is it okay to say no? Yes. If it makes you uncomfortable, you have the right to tell him you don't like it. Even if he doesn't mean to make you uncomfortable, it's okay for you to tell him what touches you don't like. Question two. You're walking to the park when somebody pulls up in a car and tries to pull you inside. Is it okay to say no? Yes, it's never okay for someone to try to take you away. You should do anything you can to try to get away. Yell, scream, kick, and pull away. Then run and tell a trusted adult right away. Question three, your mom likes to tickle you. It makes you laugh and you don't mind it. 
Is it okay to say no? Yes. That sounds like a trick question, right? If something feels fine to you, you don't have to say no, but you have the right to say no. So if you ever stop liking the tickling, or if it ever makes you uncomfortable, it's okay to tell her to stop. Now let's learn about the fourth and final rule. Tell a trusted adult if anything makes you feel sad, scared, or confused. But what is a trusted adult? Let's watch another Kid Smarts video. Pay close attention to what Sam and Marco say a trusted adult is like. Kid Smarts. My mom gave us some cookies to share. Thank you, Mrs. Diaz. I'll be inside if you guys need anything else. What should we do after lunch? I don't know. Jen? Um, hello? Earth to Jen. Oh, sorry, I was just thinking. About? Well, you know Mr. Madigan from school? Yeah. What do you guys think of him? He's okay. Why? I just don't like him that much. Is he mean to you? No, but he makes me feel uncomfortable. He's always trying to talk to me alone. It just feels weird. You should tell an adult. A trusted adult. What's the difference? Trusted adults are special. You can count on them to listen to you and help you. They make you feel safe. Like my teacher, Mrs. Johnson? I told her when some kids were bullying me and she stopped them. Exactly, or my dad. He teaches me things and helps me when I'm scared. I know he's a trusted adult because he's there for me no matter what. I could tell my mom. She always helps me out, but I don't want to make a big deal out of it. If it's bothering you, it is a big deal. You should tell. But what if my mom gets mad? Trusted adults don't get mad when you tell them how you feel. They help you. Okay, I'll talk to my mom as soon as she gets home. Good idea. And speaking of asking trusted adults for help... Mom, we need more cookies! Sugar cookies if you have them. Chocolate chip cookies! So what did Sam and Marco say a trusted adult was? A trusted adult is someone who listens to you, helps you, and makes you feel safe, teaches you things, helps you when you're scared, and doesn't get mad when you tell them how you feel. It's important to tell adults we trust when we're sad, scared, or confused, because they can make you feel better, and they can help keep you safe. They can also make whoever is hurting you stop. Sometimes adults you trust turn into adults you can't trust. If someone starts hurting you, won't listen when you tell them to stop something that makes you uncomfortable or takes you away from your parents or guardian, they're no longer a trusted adult. Sometimes the people who hurt us are people we know. But just because we know them and we trusted them once doesn't mean we need to always trust them. If there's ever an emergency and you need help from a trusted adult but can't find one, you should call 911. An emergency means that you need help right now. If the situation can wait and you can get help from a trusted adult later, then it's not an emergency. You should call 911 if you or someone else is in danger. You or someone else has been badly hurt, someone tries to break into your house, or someone tries to grab you and take you somewhere. Never call 911 as a joke or when there's no emergency. Let's see how much you know about trusted adults. I'm going to describe a person and you're going to tell me if they're a good example of a trusted adult or not. Your aunt is a really nice person who always asks how you're feeling. She really listens to you and wants to make sure you're happy. Is this a trusted adult? Yes, it sounds like this aunt really cares about you. Number two, your teacher never listens to you. Sometimes he, doesn't, he does things that makes you uncomfortable. And when you told him to stop, he didn't listen. Is this a trusted adult? No, trusted adults don't do things to make you uncomfortable and they don't ignore you when you tell them to stop. Question three, the cashier at the grocery store is very friendly. She's always asking how your day is going. One time when you got separated from your mom, she helped you find her. Is this a trusted adult? Yes, people like store workers can be helpful if you ever get separated from your parent or guardian. Tell them you're lost and you need help. 
but you should never take, they should never take you out of the store. You should always wait inside the store for your parent or guardian. Remember, even if you think somebody is a trusted adult, if they ever do anything that make you sad, scared, or confused, they're no longer a trusted adult. That's it. You've done a great job learning about the four rules of personal safety. Let's review them one more time. I will always check first with my parent guardian or other trusted adult before going anywhere, helping anyone, accepting anything, or getting into a car. Two, I will take a friend with me when going places or playing outside. Three, I will tell people no if they try to touch me or hurt me. It's okay for me to stand up for myself. Four, I will tell my trusted adult if anything makes me feel sad, scared, or confused. As a reminder of the four safety rules, let's watch a music video called The Safety Dance. It's a great reminder to follow the four rules and protect yourself and your friends. It may be hard to follow these rules all the time, but you are strong and can do it. You deserve to be safe. Thank you for watching this presentation. For more information on Nevada Child Seekers, visit www.nevadachildseekers.org. Find us on Facebook and Instagram, and there's so many safety resources that you can use, like fingerprinting kits, coloring books, and so much more. See you next time. Bye.